Hey guys, welcome to another video of Bargain Hunters. All the camera guys in Storage Wars, they love taking videos with mirror reflections. Why, we don't really know. So we're gonna start this one out with a video reflection, just for you guys. And I was watching myself as I was talking. Beautiful Casey's gonna start being a cameraman, camera woman. Yes, camera woman. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of stuff, and then the very best stuff at the end, I'm gonna videotape her, and she's gonna kind of show it to you guys. So you wanna make sure to stay tuned in for the video, because the best stuff is at the end. You ready to do this? Do it. Do some camera work. Let's start outside with the signs. <laughs> so hey guys, we're gonna to try to keep this stuff good with lightning, but it's like super sunny in San Diego right now. We have a lot of windows in our house, so. And it's really hot. It's really hot. I'm a little bit sick too, so stick, stick with me. Um, but you know, this week I spent $21,000 on merchandise. Um, the people that watch our YouTube channel and our Facebook post, you see we bought this toy, uh, this toy locker, which we spent $14,000 on. And I, I haven't even seen 10% of it yet. And I have like ADD. I'm like, oh, toys, action but trains. So I forgot about the toys and I went to go buy a Lionel train collection for um, $5,000. And then we bought another guitar for $1,500 from the same guy. So almost $21,000. I know it's $20,500, but I bought other small stuff during the week too. So anyway, we want to share that train collection with you guys. So here we go. We're going to try to keep this video fast. And this time, last time a few people said it took too long for me to unwrap boxes and stuff and, and everything. So this time I went to went ahead and I unpacked everything. Everything's laid out on the tables. So we can just go through the video and take a look at different stuff. You guys don't have to worry about me cutting boxes, unpacking it. So I pretty much know what's there. So hopefully if you like trains, this is going to be a really cool video. You ready to do this? Yes. Let's do it. So first, check out this railroad sign right here. And that's an old porcelain layout sign, I believe. Um, I know I had three, four people already email me on Facebook that want to know the price on that sign, but it's super cool. It's taller than me, and I'm uh, 5'10". And then we got the two old crossing signs. I haven't researched these yet, but they're not marble tops. And they are made by um, Sonic Company in here. Somewhere. I yeah, will go back later. But so I'm not sure what these are worth yet, but they're cool. And then this right here is an actual bell that was mounted on the railroad track. So I guess when these crossing signs would go up, when the crossing bar would come down, that'd be the bell. Again, I don't know what it's worth, but it's really cool. But hey, Casey, why don't we invite everybody down home and show them some Lionel trains? All right, let's do for it. For us. Yes, we pay cash for your collection. <laughs> yes. This, this week we spent 21000 cash. Another mirror shot. This is for John Ewing. Hey, John, what's up? <laughs> anyway. You want to know when you really know somebody that's a dealer? When they have a pool Their table. house looks like a hoarder's nest. No, 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 no. It's when, you yes. have a, it's when you have a pool table and the pool table is full of merchandise at any given time. I was so proud. Two days ago, I cleaned it all off. My dad is coming to town. He's going to shoot some pool with my pops. Then I got trains. Sorry, pops. But hey, let's keep this video short, so let's just go through merchandise. First down here, lantern collection. This was all pretty much in one box. These are Alter, or Ad Lake actually. Two Ad Lakes, these are pretty cool. And then a whole bunch of little lanterns. I know we got a Facebook fan that loves lanterns, so all these will end up on eBay. Over here, these two boxes, we'll start with the boring stuff first. These two boxes right here, it's all old train pictures. This will all go into my store because uh, that stuff is just super popular at the store and I don't wanna ship it. Old advertising. Union Pacific. That actually looks like it's a piece of class from Union Pacific. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh la la, I didn't know this. Kids cover your eyes. Cycle, bicycle advertising. So anyway, now we got a whole stack of old catalogs. They all will go in our store. And I guess we just gotta start over here and work our way around. What do you think, Casey? Oh, okay. You look at all the stuff. So here, Genesis Northern. I think this is HL scale. Just sold on eBay for $300. Keep in mind, I paid for the whole collection $5,000. You know, we have at least probably close to $1,000 on lanterns right there. These are different locomotives. I haven't looked these up. Um, but you know, I figured that Bachmann's a little bit cheaper, but at least $50 to 100 bucks a piece. This is cool. I had this set before. I know small ones were really valuable on these, so this might actually be really good. Proto locomotive should be at least 50 60 bucks. Bachmann, boring stuff. But then here we got the pre-war Lionel Celebration Series. All this stuff is brand new. We actually got the original shipping boxes. I looked this one up. This should sell for about $600. And then both of these right here, I think they were about in the $400 range each. There's another one. 
cool. All here, you see a whole stack of tracks. Um, like back here, um, it's all different tracks. Oh, you all... forgot you were gonna wear your hat. Where's the hat? Oh yeah, we're gonna wear the hat. So this is an original Union Pacific Brakeman hat, and obviously the guy had a nice big brain like I do, because it fits. Choo choo. <laughs> we do it at the same time. That's funny. That's actually weird. So these things right here, um, I didn't look up this one, but I looked up this one right here. They're switches for fast track. They go on eBay for about 130 bucks a pop. Looks like we have six of them. It's all kinds of track boxes. That's probably a few hundred dollars in track. Let me show you some of the old stuff, which I like. This set is really cool. Unfortunately, it's incomplete, but the artwork is just awesome. Just some track in there. But I like stuff like that. That's probably from the 40s. Then this right here, Shetling uh, Train and Freight Yard. I looked this up online. Complete. Should bring about 200 on eBay. Probably 40s or 50s. Just this stuff. Diesel type electrical train engine by Lewis Marks. I haven't looked these up yet. The Marks series aren't as good. But still, you know, at my store I'll get at least 100 bucks. But, you know, some sets are two, 300 bucks. You know, Christmas stories. Little kids get these train sets. Awesome times with family. Here's another one by Marks. Remote control. Again, complete. And look at this car right here. Did two extra cars over there. I just love stuff like that. Totally old look. Oops. I'll this with two hands. Again, this set is a minimum of 100 bucks, maybe a little bit more. And then down here, I didn't look this one up, but this is... Um, the Ho series? No, it's a Uni... Oh, no, I did look this one up. The Uni Pacific Engine. I think this was like 300 bucks and actually sold. Oh, it's uh, what Casey's trying to say. <laughs> this is not a Ho. It's H-O, which is a scale. A lot of the stuff we have is H-O, and we got a bunch of old gauge stuff, too, which is even more money. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Yeah, it's whatever you say, Ho. <laughs> it's time to It's bottom. hot. That's time to the box. Sure. So over here, we got all these uh, Marks uh, wind-up trains. And this piece over here is Lionel. These two pieces might be... Actually, this is Marks too. This might be Lionel. But all these will go actually to our store. I mean, some of these pieces are like 10, 15, 20, 30 bucks. So that Lionel piece is like 150. Over here, you have... Oh, by the way, show them these guitars. This one right here, I paid 1500 bucks for. These came from another collection, but we'll do a video about that later on in the week. Some artwork. Then we have the controllers right here. Um, this one is 400, 300. This one I haven't looked up. There's some kind of Lionel setup sign. I didn't unpack it. It's brand new. It's one I left it in package. So we here we have a bunch of the old gauge stuff. Big train cars. Usually this should be like 100, 150. There's more cars in here. Actually, this might be a locomotive. Nope. There's a set of four flat cars. Each one of these boxes is a minimum of 100 to 200 bucks a piece. These are small little um, HO scale trains. Probably most of this stuff will go to the store because it only bring 20, 30 bucks on eBay. And they'll sell in my store for that. Train stuff is actually super popular. So it saves us some work. And it's more of it over here is a four cat set. And these are a couple more. Actually, these look like old gauge. You know, probably 30, 40 bucks a piece. Then these over here are like sets of two cars of the same thing, the huge passenger cars. And these sets, I looked them up online, they seem to range like in a three to $400 range. Christmas stuff. We're not gonna look at this pile. This pile is gonna be for Casey. It's the best pile. So why don't you come over here, Casey? See, it's good. We're making good time. We're keeping this video. It doesn't have to be a 30-minute video. You can be in and out 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. So over here, you got all kinds of car sets. You know, HO track, um, O scale. And a lot of this stuff will actually end up going to the store. But let me show you a really cool one that I noticed. I always like the ones with the lantern. Actually, this one's really heavy, so this actually feels like it's metal. But this one right here, with the World War II era type plane. Actually, it might be a Cessna. I don't know. I have to see it. But I think stuff like that is just cool. I was like trains. And over here, a lot more cars. Some older pieces. Like, these are older Lionel sets. I have to research some of these. This one feels like it's metal. It's really heavy. Diecast metal or car. Oh, I looked that one up. I think it was like 55 bucks on eBay. A car with an aquarium in it, I think at 20, 30 bucks. So this is just average stuff, cool. And come over here, these are all complete sets. This is, um, actually except for this one, this is another set with uh, four passenger cars, it's probably three, 400 bucks. I haven't looked up these sets yet, but they're all brand new, the seven sets, so they're probably gonna average about two, 300 bucks a piece. I know the Harry Potter was going on eBay for like 350 plus shipping. Somebody on Facebook asked me about that one, I told them 300 bucks. So, 
Some of these will go online, some of them will just go in a store because they're big. So, we covered this stuff over here, that's the fast track stuff. We'll probably have at least a thousand dollars in track. Um, at the end of the day, I think this collection is going to bring us back. I mean, I haven't written it all down yet, but probably twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. So, at five thousand dollars, that was a really good investment. You ready to show them some of the better stuff? Okay. All right, I'll take the camera. What do you want me to show them? The middle side. So, I apologize. I was cleaning house when he told me, let's make a video. Yeah, that's how you clean house, so I apologize. I know you guys rather see me on camera, but I guess Casey will do on this one because I'll talk about it more. So show me the stuff and tell me what it says on there. This okay. one's H-O line. Did you see this one was like 600 bucks? Keep it a little bit lower. Yeah, that's, that was like a locomotive set, 400 bucks. Just move it over. Die cast metal construction. What's the one that you moved over there? That was just a regular engine, right? And it was a couple hundred bucks. Locomotive. Yep, that was 200 bucks. Then this one in front. Oh my god, it's heavy. Yeah, that, that's a super special. Um, show me the other side where the number is. Uh, now, this is from memory, but I think I looked this one up. It was like five, six hundred bucks. It's a special Union Pacific, Pacific locomotive set. That's another lo it's locomotive. Heavy. It's locomotives. Heavy is good. That's why you married a big guy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Lionel Le Legacy Series. I think that was also five, six hundred bucks. You can put them on the floor if you want to. Then here's the Coors Light Bullet set. Um, on the Lionel website, people are asking like 800 bucks. But um, I've seen them go as low on eBay as 400, but they seem to bring around the five, six hundred dollar range. These so, ones are special also? Let's do these right here. These are just um, diesel engines. I looked these up there on eBay asking 100 bucks a pop. I have two. Here's a bunch more engines that I really didn't um, look up. Oh no, these are the ones that are 100 bucks a piece right here. These big Lionel O gauge. They were 100 bucks a piece on eBay. These over here I didn't look up, but they should be the 30, 40 bucks a piece. Um, here's more from the course bullet train. You know, I haven't really looked these up yet either. They're old gauge, but you know, at least 40, 50 bucks a piece. Um, is that one a locomotive or just a car? Oh, this is a locomotive, so locomotive. this one's probably gonna be better. This might be a couple hundred yeah, again. Yeah, original price tag, 80 bucks. Yeah, okay, well, we'll see. It depends how old it is. What's that? So it's cross collectible because it's trains and beer. And of course, yeah. Beer's always good. Polo Express, we got the whole set too. And then a Rail King, I think, is another bullet, isn't it? So. Isn't this one your grand finale? That's the grand finale. The big boy from the Lionel. Big boy. Do you remember how much it's on the website, Casey? I told you. On the Lionel website? Oh no, $2,500? $2,700. $2,700 and you said you were going to sell it for nineteen, right? Yeah, I found one website, they had one for 2000 but I didn't know if, if it was sold out or still sold. I need to look on the computer. But I think it'll bring on eBay about 1500 to $2,000, half of our investment. Yeah, so for $5,000, this is a really good buy. Yeah, so see, you know what the best part? We ran really close, the video's only running uh, 13 minutes long. Um, what, what do you want everybody to do? Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, my little cross up is getting strong. <laughs> you want to see more videos, subscribe, give us suggestions, suggestions. let us know what you want to see, and um, thank you for watching this channel. So I'm going to edit this right now, get it up for you guys, and then I'm going to work on a guitar video later on. And if you like some of this stuff, you know, send me messages. Most of the better stuff will actually end up on eBay. And you can find our eBay store, Borgen Hunter Thrift Store, and buy some of this good stuff. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.